hello again and welcome to part two of my cabochon jewellery videos okay so I'm now with you the following day for approximately 24 hours since I put these uh, cabochon pendants in their bezel trays into water for the purpose of being able to remove the glass from the tray to be able to reuse it. So I had the two different types. I had the uh, cabochon that had been uh, glued in with um, diamond glaze glue, uh, of which I won't be a moment. I will get some and show you. Okay, so that's the diamond glaze which I was using happily for quite a while. Uh, it seemed to be doing a good job, but as I said, it was fine for a day, two, three, sometimes even up to a week, and then I'd go back to get the pendant and I noticed the spots. So I tried putting um, nail varnish on the paint on the back of the cabochon uh, with varying degrees of success but mostly again failure. So I thought okay that cost me here in New Zealand $15. So um, this here was only $2 so I thought well I've got to try something I'm going to try something cheap uh, to see if I can get a better success rate against the silver marks and spots on my pendants. There is this one here which was also glued in with diamond glaze. As yet no sign of it being mobile. And this one here which was glued in with PVA glue not really any sign of that being mobile yet either. So I'll leave them again and come back tomorrow and we'll see whether we've got any further. Okay, so I'm up to day three of soaking these uh, cabochons. And in pre getting everything prepped, I noticed that one of them was already loose, which I expected. doesn't take long for these ones to loosen up because of the style of the bezel tray. So this one is easy enough to just dig out or pull out with my fingers. There is the PVA glue softened, and there is the back of the cabochon also with glue on it, but still intact. To the best of my knowledge, I'm not sure if those are air bubbles or whether air has got in, uh, but the silver spots are still very definitely there. So it is between the paint and the glass itself. So I will have to remove the paint from that and remove the glue from the cabochon, which is easy enough to wash off. And of course, the paint is easy enough to peel. Just dig the knife in like so and take it all off. So I won't do it all now, but unfortunately it means I'm giving up the um, the transfers that were on there. Bit of a shame, <sighs> but I've got hundreds more of them, so it's not a problem. I'll see if there are any more that are ready to go. This one was done with diamond glaze. And if you look closely enough, I'm not sure how well you can see that in the light. Um, the diamond glaze has started to white out already on the edges. I'm picking it will take a few more days before I can dislodge. No, maybe not. There is the glass out. Well, that was quicker than I expected. That was from a skin, of course, and the skin had been glued onto the cabochon first. So that is what is lifted first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my knife and score through that paint like so. Cross pattern. Then put it back in the water and leave it for another day or two to make it easier to lift out. Here is another one that was done with PVA glue. And I'm not quite sure whether that's ready to lift yet. It doesn't feel like it is, so I'll pop it back in. 
um, nor that one. You can start feeling them wiggling a bit when they're ready to, to lift. This one, of course, was done with glaze. The diamond glaze, you can see it on the edges there. The whiteness of it, it is starting to slowly melt out. I don't think that's ready to lift yet either. No. Okay. Right, so we've managed to do two today. The heart one lifted cleanly, which was brilliant. Even though it was diamond glaze, the glass cover shone is lovely and clean. So that is good. So I'll finish that there now and uh, return tomorrow to uh, give you another update. Um, I've got the tray here that I'm picking the skin from which was the diamond glaze from back, from back in video 15 and it's just a case basically of picking away and picking away with my paring knife or a craft knife or whatever you've got that's nice and sharp until it lifts off and um, you can then reuse the cabochon. Sorry about that. I'm just pulling a piece of paper towel in front of me so that I can get the paint onto it. But it's, yes, I can, I'll can. continue to do this after, but it gives you an idea of how to uh, actually get the paint out of the tray. You don't have to force it. You don't have to damage your uh, bezel tray. Um, what you need to do is just keep soaking it and keep soaking it until you've got all the, the bits removed carefully and reasonably easily. As you can see, my tray is starting to come through now, but I will pop that back in the water again um, for another day or two just to ease off the rest of that paint and glaze glue. Okay, so this one here. Oh, it's already lifting as I pull it out of the water. So that's handy. So there we go. That is coming off now. Just ease that off there. Of course, all I need to do with this cabochon now is just scrape that off. It's great with the glass because it just scrapes off and the cabochon is ready to use again. That one, of course, was glued with PVA glue, which, as I have said, and I will repeat, is a lot easier to reuse, uh, get ready, sorry, for reuse, than using the diamond glaze. Okay, and the actual base here, which was uh, dipped so the Paint has come away from the cabochon just fine, but may take a little longer to come away from the actual bezel tray. So these things never cease to surprise me with what they do. But again, I will stop doing this and just pop it back into the water for a little bit longer to um, keep working away. The water will keep working away at the glue so that I'm not scratching or damaging the um, bezel tray in any way. There we go. Right, and this one here. Also glued with PVA glue. Doesn't want to come away yet. Try with a knife. Give it a bit of a move around, maybe. See if that wiggle, wiggle. Right, I won't be a moment. In the clip just before this, I showed you very quickly how I had removed a glass cabochon from a bezel tray when I was practicing it. I thought I'd put the clip up so that you could see it, 
and now I'm going to try that again with this I'm going to dry it off as much as possible because I need the surface of the glass to be really really dry and I'm going to stick the blue tack on my the end of my stick really hard down to the glass it no it's not going to stick it's still too damp too wet I need to have it as dry as possible so I'll just give it a rub try again stick the blue tack down with my fingers hard to the glass that's better it is sticking now and twist and keep twisting to see no it's not going to work on this one never mind I had to try this one's going to be obviously a harder one to displace so it goes back in the water it could be several more days before I can do anything with it the water gradually works away at it this one that is not going to lift either I'm not going to spend any more time on that so I've got that one and that one yes I've got a few still here to work on this one also glued with diamond glaze just run the knife around the edge to loosen any glue that might already have softened remove it so that the water can get in in under the um the glass cabochon to soften the diamond glaze and that's it for today it has now been seven days since i started uh this video by soaking these um, uh, cabochon pendants in water and so finally I will I'll finish this this particular video today I will be doing a follow-up one of course as there's quite a lot of things that I want to show you or tell you about in the way I do my cabochon jewelry yesterday I was fiddling around with them and discovered that two more of the cabochons had, had were removable from their trays this one which was a diamond glaze one uh, came out easily well not easily but I was able to wiggle it out and uh, remove it uh, so that I can now scrape away at the paint uh, as you can see it's actually quite difficult more difficult to do than from PVA glue so I will leave that now and show you the other one which came away it actually came away two days ago but I've left it in here so I can show you this one was the PVA glue and it is so much easier to take off um, and so I'm going to uh, of course complete the scraping of these off camera but I just wanted to show you that I had managed to remove most of them the only one I'm still having difficulty with and might end up having to give up on is this one here I have tried and tried to get it to uh, remove to remove it from the bezel tray it just doesn't want to know and it was one that was uh, glued in with diamond glaze I'm assuming it's going to be one that I just have to write off I will let it dry out thoroughly and then donate it to the my charity shop right now I want to show you the bezel trays once I've cleaned them up you can see they are marked which is to be expected of course but still very reusable because once you put another painted cabochon in there uh, it covers up that uh, discoloration this one here uh, it didn't only have slight discoloration um, I'm trying to angle it so you can see that there's actually some slight lifting of the metal on it so that'll be interesting to see how it takes another cabochon 
but it shouldn't be a problem. Again, with these two left, just some discoloration. This one was done with diamond glaze, which has left a bit of a glue residue. I don't want to use a paint thinner on it because I think that might just damage the metal if I'm not careful. So I'm leaving it as it is and I'll try another um, painted cabochon in that to see how it goes. Right, now I want to show you the cabochons that I glued in uh, earlier in the video, well a week ago, I glued these in and I am so pleased with them so far. I can't see any spots, I have actually brought my little LED flashlight in with me to my art room so that I can shine it on the um, pendant so that you can see even better if there are any silver spots which is what I do I look for them very closely uh, and I can't see anything so I'm so pleased with that and then there was um, this one here which I also uh, was looking for silver spots because it is such a gorgeous pendant and I really was hoping that it would come out clean and so far it has, it's been over a week but I am a little sceptical because I have actually seen pendants like this that I've made a week later they've been good as gold but two weeks or three weeks later I have started noticing the patches or spots so I'm going to have to wait longer to be sure and on my follow-up video to this I will be um, uh, gluing more pendants in and I will be um, following up on these to see what their progress is. The third pendant that I did was the uh, snap button, snap dome one, which had the musical symbol on it and I'm also very pleased with that um, as I didn't put any glue down the middle but it doesn't seem to have affected it and as of yet there is there are no silver spots or patches showing up. So I will keep those aside for my next video to show you. And now, as a start to the follow-up video, I will be gluing these two pieces into place. They are ones that I coated with nail polish earlier in the video and I want to now glue them into the bezel trays and we will see how they progress. So I've got my glue here ready to go and I'm going to dot it into the middle of the trays. Just a little dot more, there we are, and spread it out with my spreader so that I can then glue the uh, cabochons into place. So you've already seen me doing this so you know what I do. So I will just go off camera for a little while to get these ready and then go back on camera to pop the cabochons in. Right, I have the pieces ready to glue now. Um, so I will start with the silver one. <clears throat> Here is my uh, cabochon which was the bumblebee one which was so pretty with a tiny silver spot on the blue flower again but not a problem for me oh dropsy fingers okay so just gently drop that into place make sure I have it positioned exactly how I want it just gently pushing it I'm not putting any strength into the placement as I said previously I don't think the, um, the, the pushing it down makes any difference. And I have a cotton bud handy just to wipe away the excess glue. 
and that is done. And now this one here, which I just love. The colours are magnificent. I'll actually get my wee torch and shine it on there to show you. I'm not sure how much of the gold um, and metallic background you can see, but when I shine the torch on it like that, it really does bring it up. So pretty. And pick up the bezel tray and gently drop the pendant cabochon into it. There we are. Position it how I want it. Um, yes, that looks pretty good. Doesn't seem to be much in the way of excess glue, but I will still run the cotton bud gently around the side. Oh, that's good. And they are both done. Um, all I have to do now is leave them to dry, and as I said, I will follow their progress with you on video uh, and that follow-up video will be uploaded all going well before Christmas. So once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.